Good evening, everyone. Our last break of the night is 2018 Panini Illusions Football 8 box. Pick your team number 9. Number 9. Number 9. Number 9. Number 9. Right here on a Friday. And this is, as you can see right here, is not from a master case. Our distributor sent us an 8 box inner. Um, just kind of loose like that. So that's what we're doing. Pick your team 9. 2018 Illusions Football. There's everybody right here. Thanks, everybody, for getting into the action. Ricky with the Jets last spot mojo came back had the itch made it happen thank you sir good to see you so let's see let's see if we have some Jets magic for you in here so good luck to him good luck to everybody thank you folks what a what a day we started early with Nick Jaspi with some impeccable football we rocked through all of our impeccable football we don't have any more we're, we're, we're trying to get more Knocked out another. We knocked out another new baseball release today, which was great. And we even squeezed in this uh, illusions football right here too. So there's four, three, and one, four, eight boxes right here. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, everybody. Deathstock is saying, I'm just here so I don't get fined. Oh, I'm just here to see if anyone pulls a DJ Moore auto variation that I don't have. All right. And he says, please get more. We'll see if we can get more. We'll see if we can get more. Right, I guess it kind of depends on what new football releases are also coming out. I guess impeccable, but we're out of that now. I have a thicker card there. All right. I see some points peeking out here. So this will randomize to one person in the break. Winner take all in the points. So if there's more points cards that pop out of there, we'll collect them all in one lot. All right. Good luck, everybody. So those numbered cards will, will all uh, sleeve and top load before they get shipped out. Just in, in the interest of time, we're just going to breeze by those. And there's Matt Ryan, Spotlight Relic, 84 out of 100 for the Dirty Birds. David No. And behind Joey Bosa is Mason Rudolph, James Washington, 77 out of 100, rookie reflection for the Steelers. That'll be for Mark Livingston. These matching numbers will randomize left and right unless it's, uh, unless it's out of uh, 25 or less. Then we'll randomize those separately. Brandon Cooks to 99. And first impressions, relic and autograph, Marquez Valdez Scantling, 158 out of 499. That is for the Packers. Go Pack, go. Uh, James. James Simer's on the board. See him? Well, the possibilities of what he could do if the Packers receivers continue to be injured. All right, and the encased autograph is going to be, it's going to be me. Traquan Smith, 21 out of 50, catching Drew Brees' record-breaking pass. Saints going to Scott V. All right, next box. Let's take a look at some of the uh, games here. I'd like your opinions, ladies and gentlemen. 
Seahawks at Raiders at Wembley. Who does everyone have in that game? Raiders are, or Seahawks are minus two and a half. And it's in London, Wembley, where the uh, England Nationals, national soccer team plays. I think Tottenham Hotspur play there as they're getting their new stadium squared away, which has been kind of a drama, a bit of, bit of drama if you follow the Premier League. Deathstalker says, hey, he's, he's, he put a fiver. He's got a fiver on the Seahawks, minus two and a half. That's not bad. I feel like there's going to be a lot of points in this game. Over 48 and a half could be interesting. And Ricky Holbert saying, I'm playing a lot of Marshawn in DFS. Interesting call. A little revenge factor in there. David No saying Raiders. It'll be an interesting game. All right. Let's see if we can find some more interesting things in this break. Matching numbers. And, yeah, this is interesting. Let's... Legacies Triple Relic, Ezekiel Elliott, Leonard Fournette, Saquon Barkley out of 50. That'll be a three-way randomizer. One sad person, or two sad people, one happy person at the end. Set that right there. Joey Bosa for the Chargers. Spotlight Relic out of 100. Chargers, Barry Swisher with the Bolts. And there's another Trey Quan Smith first impressions autograph this time. 40 out of 499. It's another one for Scott and the Saints. Death Stalker's asking Carolina at Washington. What do I think? I think I, I think I actually ultimately passed on this game. Um, it's Carolina minus one at the moment. I would. Uh, Gun to my head, I mean, I don't, I, I think I would totally pass on this game. But gun to my head, I think I would take the home team. I, w I would take um, Washington plus one. More points, we'll collect that into that points pile. Redskins secondary is supposed to be really good, but they got they got just torched by Drew Brees, leaving guys open all over the place. I don't think that's going to happen again at home against the Panthers. And there's John Kelly for the Rams, 35 out of 50. Who's got the Rams in this one? That would be David No in the Rams. There you go, David. I don't think it's going to be a pretty game, but I think Redskins would eventually get that slight advantage there. I don't like Carolina as much away from home. Um, speaking of the Rams, what about what about Rams at Denver? Rams are minus seven. Anyone taking the Broncos plus seven? It's a lot of points for a home team. Hostile environment. This is Rams' second road game in a row, or is no one fooled by that? Or maybe the Rams are just far and away better than the Broncos. I don't really like Vance Joseph either. If I was feeling spicy, I would I would take I would take Denver plus seven. Deathstalker says Rams got it. Ted says Denver all the way. If you're feeling spicy, I would take Denver. I wouldn't feel good about it, but at home, they play significantly better at home. Second road game in a row for the Rams. Now, Rams might, Rams might win, 
but I think uh, I think Denver could I think Denver could cover. And ultimately, I would pass on that game too. Justin Jackson at a 199. Yeah, Death Stalker. The big game that people can't seem to really figure out would be the Sunday night game, Chiefs at Patriots. Arthur saying Rams will win big. See, I think so too. I think at the end of the day, I, I went back and forth. I eventually passed on it. I went back and forth on it though because I think that um, – because I, I use the same logic as I did last week um, with Seattle. Kind of hostile environment, blah, blah, blah. But I think, I think that offense might – the Seattle offense might be a little bit better, especially at home. Coaching's better. Quarterback's better. We've got another triple relic. This time a few legendary quarterbacks. Look at that. Tom Brady. Joe Montana and Roger Staubach. And Arthur thinks the Chiefs will win big, 44 to 21. It's New England minus three and a half. I don't know. It's I went back and forth on that game too. Josh Allen. Nice. First impressions autograph. Josh Allen, 37 out of 50. That'll go to Jeremy Anderson and the Buffalo Bills. Nice. Bills are at Texans. Uh, at the Texans. Houston minus 10. Anyone taking the Bills plus 10? Or anyone laying all those points with the Texans? And Adam Thielen, by the way, is out of 25. We'll top load those right away. I don't know. There's a lot of – because I just had better games that I liked. <laughs> and another randomizer, this time out of 10, Michael Thomas – Juju Smith-Schuster and DJ Moore. We'll set all these randomizers over here. We've got Vince Ferragamo, 26 out of 50, elusive ink in case autograph. Nice. Rams, David, no. Next box. Good luck. All right, looks like the, the heater kicked on. All right, next one. All right, let's get these randomizers over here. Ted Howard saying sold a sign to Vince Ferragamo for his Vince Ferragamo's real estate. Nice. 
All right. I think so this week for my picks. I have them written down right here. Taking Jacksonville. Sorry, Arthur. Jacksonville minus three. They got a good defense. I know Cowboys defense has been playing a lot better, but man, that Jason Garrett is just is kind of like coaching not to get fired, if if that makes any sense. I don't like that. A lot, lot of plays where he should have gone for it. There was like a play two weeks ago where they had they were like second and goal, second and a few yards. I think they didn't. They, I was just like, you just give it to Ezekiel Elliott three times in a row, and just score that touchdown. Didn't do it. DJ Moore, jersey and autograph. So something just not clicking there. DJ Moore, first impressions, jersey and auto. That'll go to the Panthers. That'll be for TJ with the Panthers. There's Deshaun Jackson spotlight relic to 399. There's Justin Reed to 199. That'll go to the Texans. Sanford with the Texans. Behind Evan Ingram is Rob Gronkowski, spotlight relic. Got a 399. Patriots, Karen Steele. All right, and your encased autograph card is going to be for. Bam. Denzel Ward. Nice. 32 out of 175. And that'll be for James Simers and the Cleveland Browns. Denzel Ward having a good season. My next pick, I've got five for you, ladies and gentlemen. My next pick is uh, the Colts. Colts getting plus one and a half, I believe. Colts at Jets. I like the I like the spot here. I like the Andrew Luck factor. I like that the Colts have a pretty decent defense. Got some good coaching. I think they're coming off a bye too, right? Almost sure the Colts are coming off a bye. A well rested. No, maybe it's maybe they're not coming off a bye. But I like Andrew Luck, and I think he's getting stronger and stronger every week. And I think I think the public has maybe overrated the Jets just a little bit, just based off of their first week win and the win over Denver. They're a good team. Sam Darnold is going to be great for them. But I'm going with the going with the Colts in this one. There's Marcus Davenport for the Saints out of fifty. Actually, that is one of my picks. I, I was thinking of the Bears. The Bears had a buy, right? I have the I do have the Bears over the Dolphins. I think Bears are minus three and a half. So they are road favorites. Doris Fountain of Youth. First impressions relic out of 499.
Fountain will go to David Duffy and the Colts. Any guesses on this redemption right here? So yeah, I like what the I like what the Bears are doing. I like them coming off a of bye. I think they're going to be pretty strong. And behind this mystique, Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon is first impressions. Nice colors in there. 29 out of 50 for the Jeremy Anderson and the Bills. All right, Arthur, I'll see you later, man. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging. Mark Walton, Bengals. First impressions autograph memorabilia goes to Paul Harris and the Bengals. Pen, there it is. All right. The encased autograph. Bop. Bop. Michael Gallup, Cowboys, out of 50. 20 out of 50 on that autograph. Who's got the boys? Nick Sanderson with the Cowboys. All right. Three boxes to go. My other pick. So we got Jacksonville, Indianapolis, Chicago are my picks. Falcons. I got the Falcons at home. I like them at home. Falcons minus three. Not a not a big hand of not not a big fan of uh, Steve Sarkeesian, but they still have a high powered offense in spite of him. I like the Falcons at home. I know they've been banged up on defense, but I think uh, I think after a couple of weeks or so, I think the Falcons' defense to kind of figure out how to play without those Pro Bowlers. And listen, there was a there was a nice bit of Fitz magic early in the season, but you know you look you look up and down those lineups, those squads. Falcons are just better than the Buccaneers. And they're getting and the Falcons are getting their standard minus three. I think they're gonna. At home, I think they'll be fine. I think they'll have a, they'll have a nice game. All right, let's go for a nice box here. Got living legends to ninety nine, JJ Watt, and we've got the Duke, Duke Dawson, Duke, 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 Duke of Dawson, Duke, Duke, Duke of Dawson, Duke, Duke, Duke of Dawson for Karen. There you go, Karen. Duke Dawson. <laughs> it's my Duke song. All right, so Death Soccer, I don't think, was with me on one of my previous picks, but he's with me on the Falcons. Oh, he's got the Jets. He's, he went Jets instead of Colts, but it's with me on the Bird team, Falcons. All right, Kalen Balaj relic out of four ninety nine. Dolphins. I'll go to James. Another redemption. Any guesses on this one? Maybe the Rashad Penny that Sam Rail is looking for. There's always a Rashad Penny in this, right, Sam? One per case, at least. All right, behind Antonio Brown is Mason Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, first impression relic to 100. And the redemption is, bam, Mark Walton again, bangles. So Paul Harris, he got two. Starting your Mark Walton PC, whether you like it or not. Mark, sign your card, sir. Thanks. All 
All right, got a little bit of tea. Let's see what the encase autograph is. All right, Mr. Mike Zaddy saying, yeah, David No saying must win. Mr. Mike Zaddy saying Atlanta can't go one and five. We've got for the Pittsburgh Steelers, Alejandro Villanueva, one out of 50. That's a nice one for the Steelers. Mark Livingston with that in case. Auto two boxes to go and a bunch of randomizers. Good luck. My last pick, speaking of Alejandro Villanueva, my last pick, Steelers. Steelers plus one and a half. In Cincinnati. Oh, let's let's wait for that. Sorry, I got got a little eager there. Did we see the, Did we see his face? Steelers plus one and a half against the Bengals. Big Ben on the road. I generally don't like, but Big Ben in Cincinnati. I kind of do like. Steelers have a strong team. Um, Bengals, I think, got really lucky last week. They probably should have lost to Miami. But a couple weird interceptions, a couple weird turnovers, a couple lucky bounces here and there kind of put them in great position to win that game, to come back. And listen, Dolphins should have won that game. I know because I had the Dolphins. I was on the Dolphins. A lot of sharp money was on the Dolphins, too. There's Nick Chubb. So I was really bummed out. So I, I don't, I mean, I just don't think that the Bengals are, Bengals are better than I thought they would be. But I think against the Steelers, we're trying to get, get some momentum going, trying to get things into gear. Yeah, and David knows saying, hey, Steelers traditionally own the Bengals. Yeah, I feel good about I feel good about um, the Steelers getting points. You know, plus one and a half. That could, that could be just enough. Wow. James Simers, are you awake? Are you watching this right now? One of one rookie reflection, dual relic, dual autograph. Baker Mayfield and Nick Chubb, NFLPA tag. Wow. <laughs> yeah, James is like, hello. Look at that. One of one. Man, we've been pulling some monsters today. We went on a monster hunt. We came back bagging some monsters. That is strong. James Simers. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. That is nice. To set that for picture time. Got to set that aside. That is strong. Here we are just going through this break, minding our own business. When a one of one shows up. First impressions. Two color patch and autograph, Judge Ito Smith out of 100. That'll be for David Noe and the Dirty Birds. Death Talks, a man, imagine waking up to that in the morning. He's here. James Simers is in the chat. He saw it live. Even better. Illusionists reveals a Kyle Oletta out of 499. Do you think they're going to start give him a start at some point in the season? Does Kyle Oletta get a start this season? Yes or no? Does a quarterback not named Eli Manning get a start this year? What does everyone think? With Eli being healthy, not due to injury. All 
All right, so this, and I, it's hard to prematurely open, is going to be Wow. Holy smokes. Karen, are you awake, Karen? Karen, wake up. Karen Steele, who's a big Patriots fan. And she's she's been she's been shopping with us for ages. Usually buying her Patriots. Often chasing this guy, I'm sure. And there it is. When's the last time we've seen a Tom Brady autograph? I don't think we've seen one since, like, impeccable 2017, maybe. Or 2016. What a hit. Yeah, that one of one, Baker Mayfield, Nick Chubb. And then the Brady was the encased autograph. I should burn this box. It's not going to get better than this. Oh, we did get that triple auto, but I mean like a standalone Brady. You know what I mean? Standalone. Man. Now I don't think Karen's awake, Death Stalker. So I think I think Karen is gonna wake up in the morning, watch this video. She's gonna be like, "Oh, that illusions actually went off last night." You know, she's fixing herself some coffee, some breakfast. Fires up the laptop, pops onto YouTube.com/slash Jaspie's Case Breaks. You know, looks at the illusions video. Maybe fast forwarding through some of the hits a little bit. And then, bam, <laughs> Tom Brady. That'll that'll add a little extra caffeine to the coffee. What a hit, man! I'm glad we did this last break of the night. I'm glad we fit this break in because we saw that guy. Unbelievable! There's Cortland Sutton. First impressions, two-color dual relic and autograph for the Broncos. David Duffy, little oppo Joe mojo. Man. Yeah, Jeremy, and Jeremy Anderson's man. I, I thought the, the Rosen that I got was nice. Yeah, we are pulling some fire tonight. There's Will Fuller, spotlight relic out of 100. I mean, we're all we're generally pulling some nice hits. You know, listen, you guys do the work. You boys and girls do the work. You fill up the breaks. You put me in a position to pull out these nice hits. So I appreciate that, ladies and gentlemen. But today, I think, has been extraordinarily nice. So all that impeccable we did today, all the train whistles we got out of here, in this case of... But this was just a loose eight box inner that our distributor sent us. There's Mark Andrews for the Purple Birds out of 50. Like, this wasn't from a master case. Like, they just sent us this eight box. It's like, here it is. And we're like, thanks. We'll go with it. So, yeah, what a nightcap, right? And behind Jordy is Matt Ryan. Spotlight Relic to 100. David No, Dirty Birds. Encased. 
autograph. I don't know what's going to beat that Brady, but hopefully someone will get a nice hit. Good luck. It's going to be for the Kansas City Chiefs. Out of 100, elusive ink, Mike Garrett. And that's the X line with the Chiefs. There you go, the X line. Nice. Folks, what a break. Thank you very much. We've got some randomizers to do. There's Brady again right there. So let's do the lower numbered one last. We'll go, we'll go this way. All right, and then someone's going to get all of those points. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. We are done for the night, unless you want to watch this randomizer. But thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. We're on seven nights a week, so we'll be back tomorrow to do this all over again. All right, that left, right. Then we've got the Legacies, Ezekiel Elliott, Fournette, Saquon Barkley. Then we got the three QBs, New England, San Francisco, Dallas Cowboys. We have the low number one running backs out of 10, or no, receivers out of 10. Wide receivers, Michael Thomas for the Saints. Juju Smith-Schuster and DJ Moore. And then everyone gets a shot at the little consolation points, the 250-point cards. <laughs> um, eight times, three and a five, eight times for all the lists. Left, right, first, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Right side gets him. Yeah, we do have new hours, Joe P. <laughs> We're breaking seven nights a week. Those are our new hours. All right, Nick Jaspi's on Nick Jaspi on Sundays and Mondays. Three and a five. Dallas, Jacksonville, and the Giants. Eight times. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. New York football giants with that one. That's out of 50. That'll be for Lee with the New York football giants. Thanks, Lee, for giving that a shot. Eight times for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Niners stay on top. We've got Brady, Montana, and Staubach, two out of 50. Nice triple relic there for the Niners. And finally, the legacies and then the points. Once again, five and a three, eight times for the wide receivers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, Carolina Panthers after eight times. DJ Moore, and that one's out of 10. Four out of ten. Nice low number for the Panthers. TJ with the Panthers winning that randomizer. And last but not least, eight times winner take all on the points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After eight times, Scott V with the points. And there you have it, folks. What a break of Illusions football. We had the Tom Brady. 10 out of 10. Nice living legends autograph. That's amazing. And, of course, the one of one, Baker Mayfield and Nick Chubb with the nice uh, NFLPA relics there. One of one. Strong break. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Have a great night. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.